So I recently picked up a new Glock. It's a Glock model 30S. You can see. The gun is unloaded by the way. Nothing chamber, nothing magazine. So this is a double stack 45 ACP pistol. Um, the magazine holds 10 rounds and uh, Glock they give you two 10 round magazines and uh, they make one that's a 9 round that doesn't stick out as much and actually fits flush so that'd probably be the best one uh, for concealed carry because it makes the butt of the grip not stick out as much as the 10 round mags do but an extra round so it's nice to have that as well um, I haven't done anything to this gun I just picked it up a couple days ago so I may put um, aftermarket sights on it because it comes with a standard clock sights it is a nice gun um, if you're not familiar with it it's basically a hybrid of the uh, Glock Model 36 which has the slim slide and uh, the standard Glock 30 which has a thicker slide and a thicker grip so that's why this is a double stack is because it has the uh, thicker grip it's not as thin as a 36 so it feels good in my hand it says SF on it for slim frame feels good in my hand I have medium to large size hands so it fits very nicely um, my brother had a uh, Glock model 36 a couple years ago that he used for concealed carry and uh, I remember the first time shooting that I was pretty impressed with how mild the recoil is for it being a 45 and uh, just how accurate the pistol is um, it's more accurate than I am so I've been really impressed with it ever since and once Glock uh, came out with the uh, 30S I knew I'd eventually want to get it because I like the idea of having a double stack 45 um, instead of the 36 which is a single stack and only holds six or seven rounds I believe so more capacity and still not too large you could easily conceal this with a good holster uh, I may do that in the future I mainly carry my shield, but um, this is a nice option too. Um, I haven't shot this yet. I literally just picked it up two days ago. So, um, one thing I do like about this is it has the uh, little rail slot right here. So, if you want to put on like a small flashlight, this would be a good home defense option since you have that capability with this gun. And uh, it's small, it's light, it's concealable, it's handy. It's just a really nice pistol. Um, just as a comparison, I have a, uh, this is also unloaded, Glock 23 Gen 4. And this is a uh, Gen 3, by the way. They may come out with a Gen 4 sometime in the future. But for size comparison, they are pretty much identical in length and uh, as far as slide width they're pretty much the same um, but for the grip I have a uh, Hogue sleeve over the uh, Glock 23 but as far as uh, grip width um, the, this one the Glock 30S is a little bit thicker in that dimension but not too much to the point where it's not comfortable in the hand for me at least um, let me take out the mag on 30s as far as the height difference um, get a better angle over here the 30s is not as tall as the uh, Glock 23 in that dimension but when you add in 
the uh, 10 round mag is just about equal. So, um, if you're comfortable with carrying a Glock 23 or Glock 19, um, this would probably be just fine for you. It's pretty much the same dimension with the uh, 10 round magazine. Um, it's going to be a little bit shorter with the 9 round magazine. But, um, yeah, it's a good option. It shoots 45 ACP. Um, holds 10 rounds, which is pretty impressive for this size of gun of 45. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I'll do another video once I um, have had some time at the range with it. Shoot a little bit and get a feel for it. But uh, if it shoots anything like uh, the Glock 36 did, I'm going to be pretty impressed with it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.